Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fennec at your service once again. Didn't you say you weren't going to join us? Camp and remember the kind offer that you made the last time we met. And is there anywhere safer for a poor merchant and his son to sleep? I think not. He's I'll got a point there. Nobody can you fuck a fine with me. Discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that? Fine, work? fine. Good? Yes, fine. You're free to stay. Just mind yourselves. Wonderful. Thank the kind lady, won't you, boy? Thank you, Aww. kind lady. We won't I love be able Sandal. to keep you He's and your so cute. I assure you. If you should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak. Will do. Um. Hold on. You guys still have quest markers over here, so I need to talk to you. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along say, on the road. So what's your story exactly? Backstory time! Well, if you're really interested, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I am originally from Orzammar, the famed dwarven city that lies beneath the stately frostback mountains. Fun! Why the hell aren't you I'm there? A merchant there, too. Merchant caste. These things are in the blood, you know. You can't just leave them behind. I ran a fairly successful business. Rare artifacts, you know. Old things, grand things. The nobles loved them. Reminded them of the lost glory days, I suppose. Why did you leave? One day, a noble woman came to my store. She looked around for a bit and then started shrieking in dismay. Apparently, she believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. Oops. He'd been lost in a cave-in, you see, while on an expedition to clear out the dark spawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. And you had his braces because you sent people to go get shishri. stuff out of the deep roads. He stole them from my poor brother's corpse. She had me arrested on the spot, of course. Nobles, they're touchy like that. Uh, evidently. What happened then? I'm not well, going to pass judgment I on him. steal them. You see, I, I'd been paying these castly thugs to venture out into the deep roads for me. The lost tigs. Th they're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. Something worth a little gold. Mm, better do something with them than leave them to rot. That, that That's might exactly be a little bit more of my belief it. than you always believe, woman, but still. She wasn't too happy with the theft of her brother's braces. I don't know what they planned for me, and I didn't want to find out bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface first opportunity I got. Never look back. And fascinating story, thank you. Your quite What sandal story? Now, is there anything the boy or I can get um... you? You didn't mention your son in your tale. Ah uh, yeah. About Sandal. I'm married to a fine woman back in Denerum, it's true. She'd give me a son if she could, but uh, that's not likely to ever be. Um, Sandal here. Explanation, please. I found him in the deep roads years ago. Abandoned, I think. And he was never quite right in the head. I took him in, and I brought him with me when I came here to the surface. He may not be my blood, true. But I think of him as one. We left Orzammar. That's right, boy. Maybe one day we'll see it again. That was generous of you. It's not as if I don't benefit, mind you. Turns out the boy's a natural working with enchantments. Oh, well then. He might have even been Lyrium Addled. I never thought of that before, to be honest. Happens sometimes. He can Lyrium work an enchantment into just huh. about anything, however, given some time. Could probably open his own shop, if he knew how. Enchantment. Aww, he's so cute. <laughs> well, he does seem to enjoy it at That's least. That's good. Uh, where do these get come from? Of the deep roads? Look, we... We don't rob people, all right? Um. We don't take things from people that need You them. don't. The things in the law's tags. What good did they do lying They didn't there? do any good. I brought them back to Orzammar. People could people use them. Could look at yep. them and remember. It's not all that different up here. There are places long abandoned by the humans everywhere. Even more now with the Darkspawn coming. Yep, a nisic scoundrel. Now just what do you mean? I'm not passing judgment people on him because I kind of agree with Bowden on here. But they forget things. Things with value and meaning. They leave them behind because they're frightened and desperate. And sometimes, my boy and I, we find our way to these places before the horde descends, and we save these things. I take them away so the Darkspawn don't get them. Is that so bad? They destroy everything they touch. This is better than having the Darkspawn take it all the Bible knowledge for us to make a living somehow. Uh, that one. That's what I tell myself, too. We don't want the dark spawn ah, to get stuff. These are dark times. Indeed. That is our stuff. They cannot dark have our times, stuff. My friend. 
Uh, let's see your wares, Bowden. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. All right. Ooh. I want those, but they're expensive. Wait, did I sell that? I didn't mean to sell that. Um. Buyback. Is there a buyback button? There should be. There we go. Okay. Oathkeeper. What the hell are you? Long sword, main hand. Ooh, it's better than mine, but mine's the family sword. Fuck! Oh, wait, I don't have the strength for that. Ha! Yeah, I'll just sell these for now. I might give that to somebody else. Like Alistair. Sell, 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 sell. Sell. Sell because I'm not using them. Sell because I'm not using it. Ooh, keeping those. I completely forgot to do the side quest with the poison dude. Oh, well. Um, anything here? Just some stones. I know I could use those later for reasons, but I don't care very much. Anyway, this is the important place. I have all of the DLC. As such, I have all of the shit. I can just make people hate me or love me. I can give people rotten onions and thoughtful gifts and lumps of charcoal and sugar cakes and a chastity belt. We're not going to. And a uncrushable pigeon. I know who that goes to. Protective cone, coven of shame. Genealogy of the kings of Freldom. Um. However, we're going to get the ones that actually cost money, like the, the golden rope necklace. We're going to leave these for having fun times later. <laughs> Wait, why does Morgan approve so much? What the hell did I do to make Morgan and Alistair- Oh wait, no, because I gave him stuff. Right. Um, Morgan, I have something else for you. Have it. A fine gift. Yay. You have. Oh yay, she likes me. Let's talk to Sten. Let's see if we can get Sten to like me. Why are we stopping? Should. Um. We're working together. I think I should get to know you. There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? <sighs> are you all right? You were in that cage for weeks. You are concerned. Yes. No need. I am fit enough oh, to God fight. Damn it. That's not what I was asking. Tell me. But, uh. You said you were in an army. I am. Um. Why were the Kunari send soldiers here? The Antam are the let's, eyes let's be nice. I know enough about the Kunari, the Kunari that I have to tread really carefully when talking to him. World. Not as carefully as when talking to Morgan, but still pretty carefully. Um, have you ever fought in a war? I have always fought in war, human. So you must know your way around the battlefield, then. Some of them. They aren't all alike. Um, I don't. I really don't want to ask that question, but. Generally, are you this bad at answering I do questions? Not see how this matters. Seheron and Parvolan are distant. Ferelden and the Darkspawn are immediate. True. Er. What's your hurry? What a strange language you speak. You say hurry, where I would say duty. What's your What's your duty? Huh. It's not your duty to handle the blight, though. It's mine. I'm a Grey Warden. No, it is yours, and you are chatting with me instead. Damn it! He's gonna get pissed at me. Where see you, Kunari, before? Tell me about your- This is gonna be a terrible question. No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> please? People are not simple. They cannot be summarized for easy reference in the manner of the elves are a lithe, pointy-eared people who excel who at poverty. Who excel at poverty. Never mind, let's keep moving. As He's you gonna wish. get pissed at me. Oh, he approved! I'm surprised. Leliana! How are you? And yes, this is going to be the talking yes. session. <laughs> or two. Um, I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. Um, this vision of yours. I knew this would come up We need to talk, later. honey buns. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. Um, so it's just a dream. You dreamed of the blight. Let's be nice about this. 
let's not outright the say that it, she probably didn't have a vision because she actually I might have. The I don't gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was, a single beautiful rose. It was as though the maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Aww. And uh, did you hear voices? This made you. This made you want to help me. Harry, right, still be nice. Oh God, I fell. Oh, <laughs> tread carefully. Maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things. Damn straight, we can do it, Leliana. By while the blight devours We're gonna everything. take him down. Um, the Chantry says, uh, I suppose I can sit by either. Yeah, that I am a good wave a warden. Water. That is, that is kind of Come, part of my job. There's a blight to stop. Damn straight. Yay, still gotta talk to you. I'm not done yet. Yes. Like, talk. Well, here I am. Um, what was life like in a Chantry cloister? Quiet. It was a life suited for contemplation. In the cloister, away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities, I found peace. Cool. And in that stillness, I could hear the maker. But it was not perfect. Some of my chantry fellows were condescending. That is the nature of religious folk, I suppose. That they're condescending? Uh, yeah, they tend to be... That's why I'm not particularly fond now. Yes, they tend to be self-righteous. When I talked about my beliefs, that the Maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world. They treated me with disdain. They want to believe that he's gone, so that when he turns his gaze on them, it means they are special, chosen. He cannot possibly have love for all, the sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. I like her outlook on things. I may not be a particularly religious person, but I like her outlook on it. For your ideas, the ideas, the chantry. Thank you. Maybe I am wrong. But it is the maker's place to decide if I am worthy. Not men. Not the chantry. But there is work to be done. And I have talked enough for nope, now. Nope! We still have to talk to you because we have not exhausted all conversation yes. options. Well, here I am. Um, what would someone like you be doing in Lothering's chantry? What is meant by someone like me? Um, a beautiful ch No, we're not gonna hit on her. We're not romancing Liliana. Aww. They don't teach you how to fight in the cloister, do they? Did you think I was always a cloistered sister? The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. Um, affirmed? And this we is- affirm our belief This is more in my- and Not very religious going. What's affirmed? But other than that, there are no vows taken. No vows taken, huh? And why were you seeking safe harbor? The Chantry does not pride, and you should. I desired time apart from the world. I was a traveling minstrel in all age. Oh, so Thousands I know stories? Were my life. I performed, Fun. and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, She's hiding home. something. Is she angry at me? Nope, not yet. Still not done talking yeah. to you. Well... Here I am. You're traveling Minstrel. Do you have any tales to share? Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Everyone should be able to benefit from them, I think. Um... There's no story I want to share. Which one? Well, we'll, we'll ask her soon, about stories I'm later. Sure. Or else we're not going to get to talk to anybody else. Okay. Alright. Miss staying over here away from everybody else. I'm gonna save before I do this, because every time I talk to her, I piss her off. <laughs>